Spliceosome mediated splicing is much more complicated than self splicing because in this process it involves many different varieties of proteins. But all those proteins are of same type like tri SNPs. They are called as small nuclear ribonucleoproteins named after U, U1, U2, U3, U4 and so on. But the basic structure of the spliceosome mediate the same. For example here this yellow colored section is intron which have a branch point denoted here with this pink and two exons are here both two purple regions are acting as two exons and we have the intron exon attachment site in this one is called as 5 prime splicing site this one is termed as 3 prime splicing site now once we know all these designations let's talk about the animation process first they'll bring upon the enzyme called as the BBP or branch point binding protein once the branch point binding proteins bind with this branch point which is also having the A then it will recruit U1 U1 binds with the 5 prime splicing site and upon binding of the U1 into the 5 prime splicing site they will recruit U2 and U2 will come and replaces BBP protein in the branch point and they change the conformation from U2 to U2 prime after this process is done they will bring upon tri SNP particle which is consisting of U4, U5 and U6. In this picture this is U4, this is U5, this is U6 and this is the U5. U5 has a spatial structure and in all these cases U4 and U6 are having the important structure to hold them together. After they bring this structure together they start to form a loop in the RNA and after forming the loop they will replace U1 and U4 from the place and that place is filled now with the complex U2, U6 and U5. Now U2 and U6 are bring very close to each other as you can see in this animation. Here comes the U2 and U6 in close proximity. On the other hand U5 start to associate between those exon 1 and exon 2. So exon 1 and exon 2 is there and then they start cleaving the exon 1. Though the exon 1 is cleaved, but it is held together tightly by the U5. Then U5 allows these two exons to be fused with each other and that completes the process.